everybody welcome back to the channel so today i have a small mail haul these envelopes are actually from my last buy you package for it i forwarded them over with the 2020 albums there's actually quite a few so i decided to just save them and open them for this video so let's just get started if the video is short i'll probably store these in this video as well oh so this is jeno's ar ticket i think or brochure one or the other oh, so this is his brochure photo card I was planning on collecting them because I had a bit of a miscount in my binder in terms of spaces, but I decided to just block out the space instead of try to fill up all the spaces. It's kind of complicated to explain, but if I store these cards later, you'll probably see. But now I don't know if I'll end up um, collecting these or not. But it looks really cute. Next card we have Jisung's brochure. So like I said, I was planning on collecting it, but now I'm not so sure anymore. But here he is. Super cute. Ooh, so pretty. His pink hair. So this PC is Jamin's Dream Show live album photo card. <gasps> oh my god. Yay. So this is Jamin's The Dream album special pc so i mentioned in my previous video that i was having a hard time finding this but i finally found someone selling it it was honestly kind of expensive but it's some i expected that price since the album's out of print and this pc is pretty difficult to come across ah, so cute so this is renjin's wea one of my favorite of his photo cards this is jeno's he looks really good. I love the outfits that they had for the Dream album. So this is something my friend ordered. I opened it right now and I was actually so confused because I forgot that she ordered this. But it is a Vernon 24HPC. So my neighbor just decided to start mowing his lawn. So if you could hear that in the background, I'm sorry. I'm going to try to talk louder. So it's mostly my voice and you don't hear that as much, but he'll probably be there because he's right next door. <laughs> I didn't know so many of these were coming in in this, in this batch, actually. So here we have Jisung's Reload Kino, where he's wearing his hoodie. He's so adorable. Jeno's normal the dream photo card. My neighbor is actually being so loud. I want to stop filming and um, finish later, but the sun sets so early now that if I don't film now, I won't get the chance to. It's okay. I'm almost finished opening. I think I will store these photo cards away, but I'll probably just do. Um, I'll probably just add music in the background. Next PC we have. Chunla's The Dream Show live album photo card. Oh my gosh, she has human washi tape. So cute. So this is Jeno's The Dream Show photo card. It came with his Polaroid set from last year's season's greeting as well. I really, really like Jeno's outfit for this card. I actually pulled this card when I bought my live album, but I traded it for my headstone card. And it came with this Polaroid set and a reload ticket from the album. I like these a lot. I didn't buy Dream Seasons Greetings last, Seasons Greetings last year because I wasn't that fond of their photo shoot, but the inclusions were really nice, so I did regret it in the end and I wanted to buy it. But the year was almost over anyway, so it didn't make sense to buy it anymore. Last package. Oh, okay. I was so confused because I saw this and I was like, oh, I already bought one. But I think I bought this set because I wanted his brochure photo card. So it comes with his brochure photo card, um, his dream show photo card, and this postcard from Beyond Live, I think. So this is the card I was trying to purchase. The 
postcard. Yeah, so these are all dream photo cards. So I'm gonna take my dream binder out and my sleeves and just store these away. So here's my dream binder. I changed my photo card to this Jisung one recently. It used to be Renjin. It's super full actually, so I'm hoping to split this binder up eventually. It's like this full. I store Renjin and Jamin together in the front pages, so their cards come first, and then I have the Dreamies in the back. So eventually I'm hoping to take the Dreamies out and put them in their own binder and have Renjin and Jamin in their own. So a lot of people asked what sleeves I used in my last story video, so it's a perfect time to show you. I use this brand. I buy them off Amazon. They're a lot cheaper than the Ultra Pro ones, which I like, and the size is perfect and the thickness is also really good. So I'm just going to store them now. I'll probably fast forward and just add some music since my neighbor is mowing his lawn. Okay, I think those are all the PCs, so I'll show you what I mean now by my situation. So I, I store Dream after Renjun and Jamin, so starting from the beginning, they fit in a four pocket perfectly because there's Mark, so there's Mark, four pages, it fits perfectly. And then when Mark stopped promoting with Dream, it became three members, so it's one, two, three, and then I continued it, one, two, three, one, two, three, like that. But then with the amount of sets they have, I ended up with an uneven number. So here, this is where it stops and then it, resonance begins with Mark again. So I didn't want to continue this on this page because then this would split up the resonance photo cards. So initially I was planning on collecting these brochure PCs and the AR ones to, so I can do one, two, three, one, two, three on another page and a half. But then now I'm not so sure because they're not really album photo cards and I want to strictly only collect dream album photo cards. So I put these two placeholders here to block these spaces out, but I don't really know how I feel about it. I was also thinking I could maybe do like three on a page and then block out the last one for each set like this. So it'd be all one set. And then for the next set, I would block up the space again. But I don't know. I like how the pages look when there's cards in every pocket. Let me know what you all think. Like which way you prefer if I block out each page so that the sets can be together. Or do you like it better when the pages are full and they continue? And I just block out these last two slots. Yeah. 
yeah i don't know i just really don't want to have to split up this set and have it continue here which is why i thought oh i just collect the ar and the brochure pcs and continue it here but then because they're not album pcs i'm hesitant to keep them because if i buy those what's stopping me from trying to collect other photo cards and i want to strictly limit myself to album cards so yeah that's my dilemma if you watched all the way up to here and you have an opinion please comment it down below and let me know what you think but that's it for this video thanks for watching sorry it was a little bit unorganized because of my neighbor mowing his lawn but i hope you enjoyed anyways i'll be sorting my part two 2020 pc soon as well so forward to that thanks for watching and i'll see you in the next video